I hate that it's this way. I can't stand it. But teams like Michigan and Georgia, and, and it really pissed me off. Georgia's attitude towards the Sugar Bowl just, and I've made no secret about it. it really pissed me off. And and I'm not making an excuse. I, you know, I've, I've been on video multiple times. Texas won. They were the better team. They dominated us. Congratulations. It, it just pisses me off. Georgia, <laughs> they made a national title game in 2017. That's great. That's awesome. I don't know who who Georgia thinks they are that, oh, it's just the Sugar Bowl. Like, I, I don't get that. I don't understand it. I, uh, uh, when's the last time we won the Sugar Bowl? I mean, it's been, it, you know, it's, it's not like we play in the Sugar Bowl every year. Um, the whole attitude surrounding the Georgia program leading up to the Sugar Bowl just really irritated me. Um, and so I think it's great that Florida went out and beat Michigan, but I think Michigan suffered from a lot of the same things that Georgia suffered from leading up to that game. Obviously, I don't follow the Michigan program as closely as I do Georgia or whatever, but Michigan was in a very similar spot to Georgia late in the season. You needed one more win. That's it. You know, you needed, they, Michigan needed that win over Ohio state and they'd have been in the playoff and they got blown out. Georgia needed to win over Alabama. They couldn't get it. They lost in one of the most demoralizing ways possible. Basically a repeat of 2017, huge halftime lead. Backup quarterback comes in and humiliates you. And Georgia just gave up at that point. I mean, you had players quitting that didn't play. Uh, half the players that did play should have quit. Um, it, it was embarrassing. As a Georgia fan, I was embarrassed at the performance and the product that Georgia put on the field. And the two people that I blame for that the most are Kirby Smart and Jake Fromm. Um, Kirby Smart's the head man. It's his job to recognize what was happening. And he either failed to recognize what was happening or didn't care in terms of the attitude that, that was surrounding the team, the attitude that the players had. You had players tweeting the college football playoff committee. That should never happen. Can you imagine Alabama players tweeting the playoff committee? No. No. It would never happen. And it shouldn't happen at Georgia. And really, it shouldn't happen anywhere else. And Jake Fromm, as the leader of the team did a piss poor job of reeling the guys in or getting some sort of leadership team together you know you get four or five guys and you say okay you know you you handle this group of guys you handle this group of guys you handle you know get them focused we're not in the playoffs it is what it is it's a sugar bowl it's a huge game it's texas and the ball was just dropped on every level and uh, I was absolutely – it wasn't that we lost. I, I mean, obviously, that, that, that hurts. But to just show up like that with, with almost an attitude of entitlement and the Sugar Bowl is beneath us, th that's ridiculous. Um, and, and as a Georgia fan, that really, really bothered me. And I hope that something has been done about that. Um, that the coaches got together uh, or pulled together some some juniors and seniors on this coming up year's team. And, and th that kind of attitude is really, really bad for a program. Yeah, Georgia and Texas in a similar uh, – or Georgia and Michigan in a similar situation. So, yeah, they've got the disappointment of we didn't get the job done at the end of the season. We're let down by our bowl situation. We should be playing for a championship. Ohio State let down for a different – in a different situation. They blew it earlier. They tried to make up for it. They made a big stretch run. They didn't get the selection. They they took care of business in the Rose Bowl. You can look at it uh, different ways. You know, people still ask me, Texas, Georgia. I still ranked Georgia ahead of Texas in my poll at the end of the year because I just think they're a better team and they had a better season overall, even though, yes, all credit to Texas. They focused on the game. They played their hearts out. They were ready. They were prepared. They got the job done. I think anytime there's a game to be played, that if you're a true competitor, you go out there and you lay your heart on the line, you get it done, and you don't make excuses, uh, a la a lot of teams we could point out, uh, some some Auburn fans the year before against the UCF, yeah. uh, fill in the blank. Uh, uh, I know the Michigan Alabama. situation. We've seen it from Alabama on the rare occasion where they miss out on the BCS title game. I mean, uh, they've lost two Sugar Bowls under Nick Saban. 
um, one to Oklahoma and one to Utah in, yep. in similar situations. So I don't think this is like, you know, there's some people saying, oh, yeah, Georgia's going to be, uh, yep, that's it. Georgia's run is over. Look what happened in the Texas game. <laughs> I, I, I don't think you can look at it that way. I mean, Georgia is it, rec- top three recruiting classes the last three years. Uh, we lose a couple of wide receivers on offense, but other than that, almost everybody comes back. Four out of the five st- offensive linemen. Georgia's not going anywhere because they lost the Sugar Bowl. I mean, that that that's ridiculous. Um, so I, I don't think – I don't think losing to Texas projects negatively for next year. It's that attitude that's got to be nipped in the bud. That that can permeate a program and, and eat it up from the inside out. The the attitude that caused us to lose to Texas is what worries me, not the loss itself. All right, folks. Uh, I encourage you to check out uh, Lou Tube. Just uh, again in the search, go to Uncle Lou YouTube, uh, Lou Tube. Any of those work, I think. You just throw them in there and, and you find them, and uh, it's great stuff. It, it uh, You'll be entertained. You'll be informed. Uh, it's good stuff, and certainly you can mix it up with the uh, chat room as well. Lou, we appreciate you stopping by, man. It was a good time. Yeah, I always enjoy it, man. Thanks for having me on, and uh, hopefully we can do this again uh, maybe once we get uh, closer to the start of the season. Absolutely.